What is the Game War Advantage? Hi there, I'm Dr. John Kenworthy, and I'm so glad that you have joined me here so that I can share with you about the Game War Advantage Leadership Development Model. The Game War Advantage is a pragmatic, personal, and team learning model. It's based on research in the relatively new field of psychology of social cognitive neuroscience. That is, it represents the way we interact with others, how we think, and how our wonderful brains work. And it works because human beings have a commonality in the way we develop our abilities, learn, create, communicate, and the way we choose how we live our life. The precept is that as a human being, you have a brain. You can choose how you think and what, and that all of your endeavors require that you have relationships with other human beings. So let me tell you about the Game More model. And we'll start with why is it called Game More? Well, each letter represents a distinct step in the learning and development process. G stands for goals, and it incorporates the values and belief system for a particular person and the vision of their goal. So why is there no V and B and V? Well, basically it didn't make for a memorable mnemonic. Our goals, values and beliefs determine what we want from life. And thus everything that we do or do not do. A stands for alignment and attitude. Our alignment is the path we are on towards our destination. And it's worth mentioning here that the destination of your particular path the way you are aligned determines what destination you reach. To achieve your own desired goal in life may or may not be at the end of your chosen path. There are also four ways or modes of alignment. We can be in push mode, which is like running full pelt constantly, an exhausting and energy zapping mode. You may be in pull mode, which is like sailing a yacht, using the wind, current and tides, all the environmental elements, and great skill to navigate your chosen route. Sadly, many people are in the third mode, which is drift mode. They get blown by the winds of the environment and the fancies of other people. They end up, well, <laughs> wherever they end up. The fourth mode is the push me, pull you mode. Like the mythical creature from Dr. Doolittle, this mode tries pushing in one direction while simultaneously being pulled in another. People in this mode of alignment are often paralyzed and are able to make suitable choices to align themselves on the right path to achieve their own goal. Our attitude determines how we approach the path we have chosen. It's important to mention here that you choose your own attitude. You can be optimistic or pessimistic. You can be growth-minded or fixed. You can be a cause for your life or you can choose to be at the effect of others and the environment. Attitude is a choice. I stands for influence. And according to Dr. John C. Maxwell, leadership is influence. Nothing more, nothing less. How we influence ourselves and others determines the followership we have. And which level of influence we have with another person determines how easily we can get others to do things on our behalf. N stands for nature and network. Our nature, or as some will refer to it as our character or our personality, is shown as a result of all the preceding elements. We change our nature by changing one or more of our goals, our values, our beliefs, our attitude, our alignment, or the way we influence others. Our network refers to other people with whom we connect our relationships, those people we associate with, and indeed our followers and our own leaders, our own bosses. Our network is, of course, external to ourselves, but how we network and the role we play is key to the effectiveness of our efforts. M is for motivation. Motivation is something that is generated by the interaction of three aspects of anything we do. We have a goal. We have certain resources, our mind, our body, money, tools, knowledge, skills. And we utilize those resources to satisfy something that we personally value. O is for outcome. Everything that we do, say, or think results in an outcome. This may be tangible and physical, or it may be intangible. Outcomes are immediate, whereas goals are longer term and targets, rather than the actual achievement that is an outcome. R. R stands for review. 
Every outcome we create is reviewed against our goals and we reflect on the learning. And numerous studies have shown that people who deliberately, consciously review their day learn more and are more successful. And writing your own review is even better. Finally, E of Game More stands for evaluation. It's closely tied to review in that it is usually the end result of the review process. This is when we have achieved an outcome, reviewed it against our goals, and measured it against our personal values. A positive outcome of evaluation is motivating. A negative one can be demotivating. So there you have it, that's the Game More model, and the Game More advantage is the basis of our work.